Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to a Christmas come book shopping with me video. Oh my god, I've been so excited to film this video. I may also be a little anxious because I have like no money in my bank account, but we're gonna make it work because I cannot go this year without reading any Christmas books. I am so in the festive mood, it's unreal. I'm wearing my first kind of like wintry Christmas jumper and I've been listening to Christmas music all day and I just want to read all the Christmas books. I have a few on my like physical TBR already, but I want to add to that collection and just really immerse myself into the Christmas stories this year. So I thought it'd be fun if you guys came along with me and brought the books with me because I love doing these videos and you guys seem to love them as well. I kind of already have an idea of what I want to purchase this year just with the budget that I have in mind as well as the books are kind of really drawing me so when I have like a limited budget I really just buy the books I'm like really high on my radar rather than just kind of buying loads of different books that kind of tickle my fancy I just kind of really prioritize so I kind of already know what I want to buy but I still thought it'd be fun if I sat down with you guys and brought the books on camera because we can discuss them and talk about them and get in the Christmas spirit together so without further ado let's hop into it and let's buy some Christmas books so I'm recording my screen I always have to do this so I know when to merge the footage together we are Recording my screen in three, two, one. Recording. Okay, it's recording. So we are onto my Amazon. I wish I could kind of splurge a little bit more, but I really can't because Christmas is around the corner. I like gifting my family and friends presents that I know they're really going to enjoy. And I just kind of go over the top sometimes at Christmas in buying stuff and just getting in the festive mood. So book buying is probably not what I should be doing with my money this month, but. I want to treat myself too, so yes, I already have a Christmas present to myself on its way. Uh, it's 70 quid and it's the pre-order of JLS's brand new album that comes out December 3rd and it has a vinyl, a cassette tape, a t-shirt, the CD, signed posters, etc. So that's kind of my Christmas present to me, but I can't go without buying any books. So this is another Christmas present to myself. We will make it work money-wise. <laughs> Hopefully anyway, I need to buy some books. I need to buy some books. So we're here today to buy some Christmas books. And the first one that I already want to buy is the Holiday Swap, literally because it's two pounds. And when a book is two pounds, who can resist it? So that is going straight into my basket. It's called The Holiday Swap and it says it's the perfect heartwarming and cozy festive romance. Christmas and romance merge the two together. I am going to have a whale of a time. So adding that to my basket. I would also love, love, love to get Lindsay Kelk's brand new release, which is On A Night Like This, because I love her. I wanted to do a whole vlog dedicated to two of my favourite authors because they have books out on the exact same day. Lindsay Kelks's On A Night Like This and Giovanna Fletcher's Walk On Sunshine both released on the same day. I wanted to do a reading vlog reading both of them but I just I literally cannot afford to spend £11 on a hardback right now so I'm gonna have to pass on Lindsay Kelks brand new book but I am so so excited to get to it just not quite yet unfortunately. However, the book that I do need to purchase is my December book club's pick, which is Wild Beauty by Anne-Marie McLemore, which is my book club pick. If you don't know, I host a book club called Books and Me, where we read kind of contemporary romance, non-fiction and fiction reads. It is meant to be a non-fiction in December with the alternate months and how it's worked out. However, myself and my co-host Molly from Mind of Molly both aren't fancying non-fictions. We're both kind of in intermittent reading slumps kind of where we read a book and then we go on a slump and then we read a book so we're just going to read what we want to read and we discussed it together and we want to read Wild Beauty so that is a book club pick a little bit out there for my book club but why not you know live your life do whatever you want to do so if you want to join in and you have that book or you want to purchase that book and join in then message me down below and I can get you the discord link so you can join in I would also really really love to get the book the Christmas bookshop by Jenny Colon but once again it's a hardback and I just can't afford hardbacks right now, but that is a Christmas book that hopefully I can read next year when it comes out in paperback. We have so many Christmas books on my wish list at the minute because I just kind of went on a wish list Christmas book spree. The next book that I actually have as, as an e-copy is The Winter of Second Chances by Jenny Bayliss. If you didn't know, Jenny Bayliss wrote The Twelve Days of Christmas. I haven't read that yet. It is on my TBR to read this year. It's just here. I need to read it this year, 
but her other book also intrigued me and it was going for like 99p on iBooks so I got it while I could and saved myself the six quid if I got it as a paperback. However, the book I am going to splurge on is Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I really, really want to get this book. It is £10, yes, uh, but I think I'm going to love this book and I've heard raving things about other Tessa Bailey works, so this one's Christmas! I have to get it, I have to get it. So that one's adding to my basket and I did, while discussing Wild Beauty, forget to add it to my basket. So adding that in and I can afford one more book. So which Christmas book is that gonna be? I said Christmas book! <laughs> I really want to read The Holiday Switch, really want to read The Holiday Switch, but I have thoughts on that book. It basically follows two main characters who switch phones by accident and I just don't know how that plot line can work out because how can you switch phones these days like accidentally because you have your phone case, you have your phone backgrounds that are all so different. Like, how can you accidentally misplace your phone and swap it with someone else's? So that storyline just doesn't do it for me. So I know it's not a Christmas book. <laughs> but everyone is raving about the love hypothesis, hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. And I think I need to buy it. I'm adding it, I'm adding it. <laughs> it's not a Christmas book, but it's a romance and everyone is absolutely raving about it at the minute. So I think that is gonna be my book haul. Very short and sweet, but I have a very limited budget this year because Christmas is right around the corner and I'd rather spend my money on other people, although I have to treat myself a little bit to some books. So to round up, if we go to my basket, I have no idea what the love hypothesis is about, but everyone is raving about it, so I'm buying it. <laughs> Wild Beauty, once again, not really sure what this one's about, but Molly is really keen on it. It has bisexual representation, which is one of the reasons we decided to pick it as well. So yeah, that is my book club pick, so I kind of need to get it. And then Window Shopping basically follows our main character who is window shopping as the title suggests, one day and she kind of stumbles upon this department store and she's just browsing in the windows, kind of just fancying what she fancies and then a guy, handsome guy I'm assuming, walks up to her and they start chatting and then she gets offered this job at the department store that she was kind of browsing but she doesn't realise that the guy that she was talking to outside the window was the owner of the entire place and apartment stores at Christmas are one of my favourite places to go because they're just so so festive and all decorations are just so Christmassy and if Tessa Bailey can capture that into a book I am going to absolutely love it so that one has definitely hit my basket and then the last one because of my budget and everything and it's only two pounds I'm going to pick up the holiday swap by Maggie Knox. I'm uh, not really sure that what this one's about so I feel like we need to have a have a look. To make this video a little bit longer because I realise it's only like 10 minutes long, one of my shortest videos of this kind ever, but this one basically follows, let's read the synopsis together. Oh, Taylor, Jen Taylor Jenkins Reid has written an utterly adorable pitch perfect romance. So I can't complain, I do love a bit of Taylor Jenkins Reid. When chef Charlie Goodwin gets hit on the head on the LA set of her reality baking show, baking show, she loses a lot more than consciousness, she also loses her ability to taste and smell. Covid? <laughs> Both critical in her success as show judge. Meanwhile, Charlie's identical twin, Cass, is frantically trying to hold her own life together back in their quaint mountain hometown, whilst running the family's bustling bakery and dealing with her ex who won't get the memo that they're over. With only days until Christmas, a desperate Charlie asks Cass to do something they haven't done since they were kids. Switch places. Looking for her own escape from reality, Cass agrees, but temporary trading lies proves more complicated than they imagined. Especially when rugged firefighter Jake Greenman and gorgeous physician assistant Manuel Rodriguez are thrown in the mix. Would the twins' identity swap be the recipe for disaster, or does it have all the right ingredients for getting their lives back on track? It sounds fun, it sounds very bizarre, it sounds something that you can just kind of lose yourself in, not really have to think too much about it because it just kind of, you just roll with it. It's one of those books I feel like are going to be quite out there, kind of far-fetched, but it's a Christmas romance, you just go with it and you have a fun time anyway. And for £2, I can't really lose out on anything, so yes, that one is also in my basket. And I know this is a really short video, I feel like I can't make it this short, but it's going to be this short because 
I can't buy any more books in this. This is my budget. My budget was 30 quid. I have spent 29.69. So I have literally stretched my budget as far as it can go. And getting four books for that, I don't think it's actually too bad. So I appreciate the two pound book in there. It's allowed me to get an extra book, which I'm very, very grateful for. And with that being said, let me know in the comments what Christmas books you're looking forward to this year. I am just going to absorb myself in every single Christmas book I possibly can because for some reason I am feeling even more festive than usual. I am such a Christmas lover. I love Christmas. It's my favourite time of year. But for some reason, the year of 2021 is making me love it even more. And I cannot wait to cosy up in my new Christmas PJs that have just arrived today. I'll put a picture on screen. I absolutely love them. They fit perfectly. They're so cosy. I cannot wait to wear them and cosy up and read lots of festive Christmas books. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below to see future content from me. I do anything from book recommendation videos, Rachel's reading rambles, where I ramble about everything and anything. Come book shopping with videos, reading vlogs, TBR games, you name it, I have it. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more future content. And without further ado, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.